What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Women Should Propose to a Man. You know, recently on social media, I've been seeing women proposing to men. Like, I've been seeing women getting on their knees proposing to a man. Asking a man, will you marry me? And when I look at the comment section, people be like, oh, I would, girls be like, oh, I would never do that. I would never do that. When I saw, when I saw different women getting on their knees proposing to their man, I said, it's about damn time. <laughs> it's about time. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. It, 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 it should have always been like that. It should have always been like that when a woman had to propose to the man. Because the man is the prize, not the woman. Like, like, I, I, like I, I always, I always like, I always question the whole routine of marriage. Like the man getting on his knees Asking a woman, would, and he had a ring in his hand, asking a woman, would you marry me as if she's the prize? Like, once you marry her, she's the liability. She's the liability. The man is the prize. The man provides the protection. The man provides the money he provides. He protects and provides. And now you have access to his resources. The man is the prize. Like, why is the man getting on his knees to, to, to basically beg a woman so she can have his last name? Like, like, like she going to have your last name. Like, like, she trying to get your last name. She trying to wave your flag. So why are you getting on your knees saying, will you marry me? Check this out. I ain't, marriage ain't for me. But it, let, 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 let's say hypothetically speaking, if I ever were to get married, if that small chance I would ever get married, trust me, she would have to get on her knees and propose to me. Straight up. I won't have it no other way. I would expect a woman to, to with a ring, get on her knees and say, swag boy, would you please marry me? I wouldn't have it no other way. Because y'all don't realize once the marriage starts, you got to take care of that woman. That woman don't got to take care of you. She looked upon as the wife. Oh, she's the wife. Oh, she's having your kids. Be easy on her. She ain't, she ain't got to go out to work and work overtime and all that. No, life gets easier for the woman. It gets harder for you. Because now you got to protect and provide for that woman. That's what you got to do. You the prize. All, all, all these outlets looking down on these women for getting on their knees, proposing to their man. You should be applauding these women. I hope more women start doing this. Start proposing to your man. Not only should you start proposing your man, tell your man, explain to your man why you will be a good wife. And even, even if I do get married, I still won't have my requirements. Like, 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 I, like it, it should be like a prenuptial marriage or, 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 or a, a situational marriage where if she starts, if she stops doing her woman, her womanly duties, it got to be an easy way I, I could just end the marriage. And, 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 and it's another reason why I'm not going to get married, because you never know when a woman going to switch up on you. Like, like, like after that honeymoon phase is over, a woman going to switch up on you. She going to start acting different. I ain't got time for that, fellas. But for those who are looking to get married, you need to be careful, man. But a woman should get on her knees and propose to you because you the prize. 
if, 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 if the marriage goes downhill, you got to take the fall for it, man. Yeah. The man takes the fall for the marriage, not the woman. The woman could easily go to court and be like, oh, I can't take care of myself. I'm broke. What am I supposed to do, your honor? Help me, your honor. Can't no man do that. You can't, you, you, you can't end the marriage and go to divorce court and be like, your honor, I'm broke. I ain't got no car. I ain't got no job. Can you please tell her to help me? Can you please tell her to take care of me? They're going to laugh at you. They're going to they, they, they frown upon you, man. This is why I'm saying don't get married because you giving a woman an easy way to just live almost happily ever after. Because when, when things go down, it's going to fall on your shoulders, not her shoulders. A woman has the right to play victim. You don't have the right to play victim. Men, we don't have the luxury to play victim. We ain't got time to play victim. We got to go out here and handle business. We got to be a man. We got to be a boss. This is why I keep telling y'all, men, you are the prize. She can marry you today and, and divorce you next month. And everybody going to feel, feel sorry for her. Everybody going to be checking up on saying, are you okay? Are you okay? Who going to check up on you and say, are you okay after you got divorced? Who checking up on you? Who feeling sorry for you? Nobody. Yeah, all right, maybe your mama, maybe a couple of your homeboys, but that's about it. Society won't feel sorry for you. Society will not feel sorry for you the day when your wife divorced you. She not, nobody going to feel sorry for you, but they'll feel sorry for her. They'll, 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 they'll give her spousal support. They'll, they'll, they'll give her alimony support. They'll, 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 they'll give her child support. What they going to give you. Move on. That's what they're going to tell you. Move on. That's why you got to be a man. That's why you got to be a boss. That's why you got to be the dictator of your relationships. Not the woman. You let the woman be the dictator of your relationship, you're going downhill. And you can't tell them, swag boy ain't told you so. And that was today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.